two teenagers with the radio cranked up and not a care in the world. To the left, you can see what they're seeing out the windshield. On your right, the view inside the cab. Suddenly, the driver loses control. The truck flips. No seatbelts on. They're thrown out. But somehow, they survive. The video comes to us from a company called DriveCam, a free program for American family insurance customers. They put a camera under the rearview mirror, and it starts recording whenever it senses something wrong. We asked a group of teenagers from Sakasti High School and their parents if we could install them in the kids' cars. We want to see what really goes on when their parents aren't around. And it turns out, so do their dads. It's going to be nice to see, you know, what he's doing out there driving when our minds are always thinking, you know, I'm sure he's texting, I tell him not to, and I bet he is. He and the other dads can go online and look at potentially dangerous moments their kids experienced or created on the road. So what about using the phone while driving? Well, no one would fess up to texting much. And 16-year-old Dylan Way says he rarely talks on the phone while driving. But 16-year-old Caitlin Purvis? I have talked on the phone before. Because if like, my parents call or something, I just answer it. I would never do such a thing. <laughs> Mike Fitzpatrick, a 16-year-old who's been driving for about a year and a half, and he's already been in one crash. She stopped real suddenly and turned at the same time. And there was somebody in my left-hand lane, so I couldn't swerve to get away from her, so I just had to hit her. His father told me the same story and says, in a way, it wasn't surprising. You just wonder when that will happen and, and if when that happens, if they'll learn the lesson from it. You know, one of the biggest concerns I have is that they don't respect the fact that that can kill them in just a second. And that's her and her brother. A few deadly seconds have been haunting Diane Maine for more than five years. Her daughter Leslie was riding with her boyfriend to go swimming. A car suddenly pulled out in front of them and they crashed. The future CPA, who just graduated from high school ten days earlier, died in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. They'd been so close to the park she'd just taken off her seatbelt to grab something. Her boyfriend still had his on. He survived. There's one here also I wanted to show you. Diane's stomach felt the blow when the coroner, a police lieutenant, and Diane's husband showed up at her office. And um, I can remember the first words out of my mouth when, when I could finally speak was, I killed her. And they said, no, no, you did not kill your daughter. Even if you don't have any guilt, you invent it. You just know you're supposed to protect your child. There was also disappointment that such a smart girl, who always wore her seatbelt, had paid the ultimate price for such an absent-minded mistake. There's her tassel probably still hanging up. Diane agreed to appear in our story. It is. Because she wants teens to understand how just a few seconds of texting or whatever else might take your eyes off the road can leave behind a lifetime of pain with the family members who survive. Because you really are taking a part of them if something happens to you. My life will never be the same. A part of me died with Leslie. In video after video we watched from across the country, we saw so many teens just not paying attention. And in one case, the driver was actually doing her makeup. It's enough to make a parent think twice about handing over the keys. In Mike Way's case, it led to a concrete understanding with his son Dylan. 16 do's and don'ts. Are they literally written out? Yes. Was it like a contract? Yes. How did uh, that work? Very well. I mean, it, it keeps his attention. And there, there are some, there is leeway. It's not absolute, but it is there for his protection. For as long as Dylan is living under Mike's roof. There was one face missing when we got together with our teen drivers and their parents. Taylor Johnson, a 17-year-old junior at Sakasti High, who's only had her license since August. Once I got my license, I was like, oh my gosh, I have all this power. I'm going to get out of here. Four months later, her truck, affectionately known as the Red Rocket, sits in her family's driveway, wrecked. It's got a whole bunch of gents and the... Lights are completely gone. Through no fault of her own, Taylor suddenly found herself in the middle of a five-car pileup after school. The tailgate won't close, like, at all. 
Our other teens, their trucks and SUVs still intact, are now out on the road with the cameras watching their every break and turn. And at least one of the dads is already checking in online. He's had his for about a week and it's, it's very interesting to see his expression when he realizes the, the camera's been triggered. And many times it's over little things and it gets a, a, a definite scowl of disapproval. But <laughs> we'll see if they're still laughing after the cameras have been rolling a while longer. Wow, you're an idiot. Holy sh**, you piece of <sighs> Did you see that? That wasn't even my fault. More cringeworthy clips are sure to come.